Right, so this is, is this day three now? Day three. And we're really loving, it's sunny here, it's beautiful <laughs> weather. I mean, you know, we're only wearing this just because we're going to keep the sun off our heads. Yeah. Uh, it's lovely. So if you come to see them, then be prepared for this lovely, lovely yeah. weather. Weather. And this is Seam Hall again. And because uh, you found some lovely Maltese last time, we'll see if we can get some more. Yes. The tide is just going out. The car park is packed. And it's Sunday morning about... Half past eight. Half past eight. Yeah. So again, first bit, an hour, and at the end of the day. Some very brave people. You can see the tide is pretty much full in. It's just starting to go out. So I wonder if there'd be any beach down here for any of these for any of us to actually get on. Because there'd just be too many people. in a place and just breaking out see what's there because I'm sure there is it's got the stuff it's obviously the multis that everybody wants Let's see how it goes top of the beach and Jane's sort of gone towards the bottom of the beach where the tide is going out but my kind of theory is up here the bigger stones are up here so hopefully the bigger pieces of glass are up here it's not really paying off at the moment but we'll see we'll see how we get on we've been here just over an hour and I've just found this lovely yellow piece very much got to dig. Um, some of them you go to the top of the beach, some you go to the bottom, some you look on the sand. But here you're kind of looking at the stones and not on the sand, not much on the sand is it? No. So, and sort of the little pebbly shingles. Yeah. With my finds, lots of really lots of different colours in there, and I found like a a glass egg. Where are I? glass egg? <laughs> so we're now heading back towards the car. We've walked probably um, half a mile down the beach, something like that. Yeah. 
I'm going back to the car because there's a cafe out there. We'll see if we can get a drink and something to eat maybe and use the facilities and then maybe we'll come back out again. Yeah, and maybe we'll, yeah. maybe we'll come down the other end. But there's absolutely loads of people here. I mean, I've never... It's probably as busy as Charmouth. <laughs> yeah. So and I, uh, one of the tips is, like, oh, you were using the stone because we've not got a little rake or anything. It's just sifting through the top layer of the like really fine shingle and I'm finding really nice bits. Um, you know, yeah, finding nice bits doing that. Anyway, you get to see that later because we're gonna obviously wash it later and put it out and you'll see it. So keep watching and we'll um, you'll see it later. Small ones, but still. They all count. Yeah. So I was putting the specials over here. Okay. What I consider to be the specials. Sorry, rest of the glass. I'm not. I'm not discriminating or anything. Mm, there's multi. Mostly blue multis, weren't they? Yeah. Wow, that's blue and pink, blue and red. Did you see? Nice. Let me pick that one up. That's the one I picked up. That's nice. Oh, there's another nice one. Was that the one I picked up? Quite possibly, I can't remember. Oh, that's my pink that I found. So they're, they're almost from the same piece, look. It's almost the same colour. Yeah. Oh, that's my pink that I found. Oh, pink. Right. Oh, another one there, look. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. One little dot on that bit there. That's a multi, though. Yeah. Another one in there. That's my, my egg that I found. Your robin's egg. It's <laughs> really nice. Oh, there's a milk glass that I found. Milk glass multi. I don't know if they're milk glass or not, but and I've got like, this green milk glass. Too, look. I yeah. would call these a yellow. Oh, yellow. Found quite a lot of yellow. Yeah, never found yellow before. Yeah. How yellow it is. So, just to recap, we have a really good selection of colours, I think. That's, a, that's probably the most varied, like as far as not all white, is it? It's greens, mm -hmm. there's some nice blues, different shades of, oh, my kind red. of white. My Your red, red, my beautiful red piece. That actually is a really... Just... It is red, but it's really dark red. So that's probably the only piece of red we've got that's fully red through, isn't it? Yeah. But then uh, we've got like the little robin's egg. Maybe bigger than that. We've got some nice yellows here. Um, we've got these lovely greens. Then we've got all these multis. One, two. Oh, look at that, look. Look at the stripes in that. Mm. I spent when we get home and I actually come to sort in it properly. Yeah, then I might find more. more. But I like like these colours, like this. That's a multi. That's a multi, another yeah. multi. Yes. It's 
a teal multi. There you go, that's kind of a sort of purple in that. Yeah, we've got so many multis. I mean, they're not massive, but I think people go to see them, especially for the multis. And there is a real good selection there. So, I don't know about Jane, but I'm really chuffed with I'm today. really pleased with this. I mean, so many of these bits, look at that beautiful, like, yellow. Yeah. It's perfect to turn into a stud earring. Absolutely beautiful. If you look to the right of this shot, you'll see Seam Hall, for which the beach is named after. Thanks for watching. If you want to see... Uh, the next couple of videos coming up about CM or around CM, which are going to be Chemical Beach and also went up the coast a little bit to I think it was Hendon Beach, then click the subscribe button. Uh, also, I'll put a couple of links in for Jane's at CC Glass and also her Facebook page. If you want to find out more, then go and follow those. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.